Be guard fag in tomb with magpies and sisters. Manage to help them clear the area without losing a single man. Thanks to the power of experience, determination, and true guardsman grit. Although it probably had more to do with the fact that Krons had all disapproved, the Nids start acting retarded for some reason, and most of the orcs have started booking it for no reason. And the fact that nobody noticed us at all. Seriously. We even set up a campfire to recharge our power packs and cook dinner, and not a single person noticed. Not even the sisters or marines we were helping noticed us. Which is pretty damn insulting. During the battle, somehow, the marines sneak off with the bomb somewhere else. Good riddance. The farther that bomb is from us, the better. Once the smoke clears, the bolter bitches all pile out and start arguing very aggressively with each other and the marines. Try to get their attention, from behind cover of course. After narrowly avoiding a few reaction shots, although I swear the crazy eyed one was trying to hit me on purpose, explained that yes, we had been here helping them this whole time, that along those random last fire shots that narrowly missed them and hit enemies instead were in fact us. Thanks for not noticing. Marine Sergeant says that we don't need to send word about their gift as it will be out of the system soon enough. Crazy Eye's sister looks like she's about to strangle him. Good riddance. The farther that bomb is from us, the better. Finally some good gets interrupted by what appears to be a very important call from the way he's bobbing his head. My face when he tells us that their gifted torpedo has been stolen. Be Imperial Noble. Life as usual, Vox. The sister of battle with a nice cape suck my dick though. Bitches love the laser eye. Suddenly word is going around the planet has a copy now. Ha <laughs> What? Word is that it is now heading towards this planet and will crash into it. Enjoy kicking peasants off of the boarding ramp to my transport off this planet. That hot sister comes back. Tell her that she can totally come and we can fuck during takeoff. Bitch fucking says she's commandeering the transport for the order of the ermine mantle. What the fuck is an ermine? And for me to get out of the way, do I need to fucking laser eye a bitch? Oh fuck, she ripped off my laser eye. Oh fuck, she kicked me off the gangplank. Grab hold of peasant and cause a bunch of them to fall off with me. Regret nothing dot vox. Be me, ecclesiarchy youngster bishop. I see in these final moments, I let my hubris overtake me. I pray that I have accomplished my purpose, and that my weakness has not compromised the fate of mankind. My bad, dot repentance. I bade the corn-worshipping guardsman in holy fire as a chainsword cuts into my shoulder. I keep pouring holy flame onto the heretic as the world goes black. Martyr moves, dot jiff. I awake bathed in pure bright light. My body weightless, if I still have a body at all. I am overwhelmed with joy. I have done my duty and joined the Emperor after death. I am able to hear a chorus in the background as a beautiful woman's face appears over me. One of the Emperor's angels shepherding me to my reward. My senses have not yet adapted to this new existence. I am unable to fully appreciate the Emperor's chorus. Wait, no. That's just screaming. Oh, I get it, dot PNG. The face looking down on me is a hospitaler. Of course, the Emperor wouldn't let me die. I push my body to move. Looking down, I lift my robes to ensure that the most important part of my body is unharmed. Aquila birthmark dot chosen one. 
One of my arms is wrong, though. It's entirely too big. Apparently, with the constant warfare, there are a lot of bionics laying around, and my betrothed demanded I get one. Also, pretty badly burned, but I'm told that's mostly from my own flamer. Self-purified.jpg My injuries are a written message from the Emperor, one I fully understand. Be ever vigilant. Anyone not at your side may be a heretic. Having regained my senses, I look towards the hospitalier. I ask if she can do something about this. She explains that there are no suitable bionics available and the scars may improve with time. No, the scars are great, dot scripture. I meant my robes. They're all covered in blood, ash, and heresy. I need to look my best when I address my flock. I embrace my betrothed, a new man, while nurse handles my laundry. Be Sister Charlotte. Come in, dear, transport to replace all the ones our order lost. I am sick of this planet. Also, holy shit, is that this planet? But again? Is it coming towards us? Ha ha ha. Oh wow, I just saw a whole bunch of those Xeno Tau ships just get wrecked by it. Jesus, this is maybe nearly as big as Sister Olga's ass. Okay, might have to get them to land on some people, but gotta land near the field hospitals. Have to save those laundry ladies for my cloak. Be Sister Lydia. Okay, so I guess Operation Tractor Toe a fucking warhead is off. Can't say I'm disappointed. I could really use a drink. The Vox channels are filled with shit about a second planet and it crashing into this one. Suddenly, there are Arbites fucking knocking on the side of my repressor. Emperor, I'm having flashbacks to being in the Scala and driving trashed. Oh god, I remember having Therese sitting beside me fucking hitting on the Arbites officer lady. Remember Olga throwing up in the back and fucking Charlotte freaking out. Fucking tell this puffed up motherfucker to kindly look at the fucking Armageddon coming down on us and to kindly get the fuck out of my way so I can fucking gun it to the transports. My face when I secretly hope that he starts shit so I can introduce him to the dozer blade. <laughs>